Biniyak ng Department of Foreign Affairs na nakalatag na ang kanilang mga hakbang para madepensahan ang West Philippine Sea. Sa pagharap ng ilang official ng DFA sa Senado, binigyan din nila na re ang naturang issue sa mapayapang paraan. Si Eunice Monte sa detalye, Rise and Shine, Eunice. Tiniyak ng Department of Foreign Affairs na planchado na ang kanilang strategic policy para depensahan ng West Philippine Sea. Katawang National Task Force of the West Philippine Sea, sinabi ni Foreign Affairs Secretary Luis Enrique Manalo na ang pagresolba sa mapayapang paraan ang nakikitang solusyon ng Pilipinas. We definitely are not in a position to enter into any kind of a armed clash or conflict with China. But at the same time, We also have our um, mutual defense treaty with the United States. Ayon sa DFA, patuloy rin ang kanilang pagdadala ng supply sa mga lugar kung saan naiulat ang harassment ng Chinese Coast Guard gaya ng sa Ayungin Shoal. But every opportunity that we have when we deal with China, whether it be verbally, in a meeting, through writing, we always stress the need to resolve these conflicts peacefully. Ngayon lang kasi nakadalo sa Senado si Manalo simula ng ma-appoint ito noong July 1. Kaya naman ayon kay Senator Amy Marcos, hindi masimulan ang organizational meeting ng Committee on Foreign Affairs na tatlong beses nang na-cancel dahil hindi available ang kalihim. That until today, the Committee on Foreign Relations of the Senate cannot be organized because of the failure um, of the department to cooperate and participate in the same. I know that you are busy, but so are we. Hindi pa nakalusot sa Commission on Appointments ang ad interim appointment ni Manalo matapos maubusan ng oras ngayong araw. Pero lusot na sa CA ang appointment ng permanent representative ng bansa sa United Nations na si Ambassador Manuel Refilia Lagdameo kahit pa kinwestyon ni Congressman Rodante Marcoleta kung kaya pa ba nito physically ang kanyang trabaho matapos sumailalim sa quadruple bypass at may sakit na diabetes. My doctors have uh, given me a clean bill of health. Um, my uh, diabetes has been under control for the last uh, for the last uh, 12 years, and uh, so I uh, I can assure you that uh, I am I am still. Uh, Physically capable. Sa matala tiniyak naman ni Ambassador Jose Manuel Del Caliego Romualdez na nananatiling matatag ang relasyon ng Pilipinas sa Estados Unidos. At nagbigay na rin ang order si Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. na pag-iktingin ang diplomatic ties sa Estados Unidos. One important uh, uh, matter that I think President Marcos has made it clear to us is that he would like to increase our economic ties with countries like uh, the United States and the Philippines. Uh, mainly because he believes that the economy of the world is at stake, uh, especially after this pandemic. Tuloy rin aniya ang Visiting Forces Agreement o VFA at ang exercises sa pagitan ng Pilipinas at Amerika. Yunisa Monte, para sa morning show ng Bayan, Rise and Shine Pilipinas.